2023 Genesis GV60 Review, Quirky but Premium Although not the automaker's first BB, battery electric vehicle, the new 2023 Genesis GV60 compact crossover is its first built on parent Hyundai's purposely designed EGMP EV platform and shares its genes with the well-received Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6. Despite its relatively humble underpinnings, everything you can see is different, and the GV60 exudes a premium air, from its quirky coupe styling and delightful design flourishes to its upmarket interior that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best Europeans. Every comparison review between the Genesis GV60 and its competitors has so far consistently ranked it near the top of the class. It's no small feat, considering highly capable premium rivals with similarly avant-garde slopeback styling, such as the Audi Q4 Sportback e-tron and Volvo C40 Recharge. With standard AWD and two drivetrains, with either 314 or 429 horsepower, it seems like the GV60 has it all, but a rather unimpressive range may count against it. How does it measure up? 2023 Genesis GV60 Changes What's the difference versus the 2022 GV60? The 2023 GV60 is an all-new premium, compact crossover BEV. It lands in two AWD trims priced around $9,000 apart and with two power outputs, a third, single-motor powertrain with RWD will become available later. It's well appointed with features such as 20-inch wheels, leather upholstery, a sunroof, and heated and ventilated front seats, all standard, even on the base car. This sees it trade blows evenly with its European rivals, but with more horsepower, it outperforms them. For now, the 2023 GV60 goes on sale in the USA only in the states of Arizona, California, Connecticut, New Jersey, Nevada, New York, Utah, and Washington. Pros and Cons Quirky, standout styling. Fun to drive, but also comfortable. Potent performance. Premium and practical cabin. Fast charging ability. Expensive next to similar EV6 and Ionic 5. Not the best range. Some gimmicky features. Some in-car tech tricky to master. What's the price of the 2023 Genesis GV60? There are only two trim levels, with the price of the new 2023 Genesis GV60 Advanced being the cheapest, starting at $59,290. The performance trim will cost you $68,290. These are the Genesis GV60's MSRPs and don't include the $1,125 destination fee. 2023 Genesis GV60 Handling and Driving Impressions in terms of ride and handling, the GV60 is a class act right out of the blocks. It feels responsive and sporty, even when you're not pressing on. The ride is very supple, even on the 21-inch wheels, and noise levels are very well contained, more so with the Bang & the Lufsen Audio System's active noise cancelling switched on. If there's some criticism, it's that there isn't much feel from the steering, while it's a little underdamped on rough roads, where it tends to pitch and heave. That's easy to fix on the performance by selecting the sporty setting on its adaptive suspension, restoring balance, and hardly hurting ride comfort. And the fun doesn't stop when you up the speed and start throwing it around corners. It doesn't just hang on gamely, it feels keen and pointy, especially in the performance, with its adaptive damping stiffened up and its electronic LS diff allowing you to climb on the accelerator early to slingshot out of corners verdict, is the 2023 Genesis GV60 a good SUV? The GV60 is a brilliant first attempt at a premium compact crossover SUV by Genesis. It's faster than its Q4 Sportback e-tron and C4 recharge rivals and on par in terms of range. It offers arguably the most fun handling in this class while feeling premium and offering enough delightful design details inside and out so you don't feel you're just driving a hopped-up Hyundai. When it comes down to the hard figures, though, the lowlier Ionic 5 and EV6 that it shares its bones with look like better value, as do other non-premium compacts such as the Mustang Mach-E. But then you wouldn't be shopping in the premium segment if you were happy with a blue-collar badge, and in that regard, there are very few rivals that can currently touch the GV60 for all-round compact luxury that leaves no boxes unticked. 2023 GV60 Exterior 
Genesis' interpretation of a luxury crossover is suitably upmarket and very individualistic. It looks premium, but it doesn't imitate any other car's styling cues, except for other Genesis models, which it refreshes and reinterprets. The familiar split headlights and taillights are present and accounted for, but the roof falls away dramatically toward the rear in a coupe-like fashion, while the triangular motif that interrupts the chrome side window trim at the rear pillar adds a sense of drama to the rear three-quarters of the car a difficult angle to get right in an SUV. The front bumper has a lower grille with a thin body color surround, and the rear has a gray insert in its lower half. The advanced trim comes with 20-inch wheels, while the performance has 21-inch items. Besides that, there is very little to distinguish them on the outside, and both come with flush deployable door handles, a fixed glass roof, all-LED exterior lighting, and rear privacy glass. Dimensions The Genesis GV60's dimensions are halfway between those of the Q4 Sportback e-tron and C40 Recharge, so it's firmly in the compact premium crossover class, with a length of 177.8 inches stretched over a 114.2 inch wheelbase, a width of 74.4 inches without the mirrors, and a height of 62.2 inches. Genesis provides no figure for the ground clearance, but it hardly matters because the GV60 is strictly an on-road crossover that will do the odd foray on a dirt road, but it has no off-road aspirations or abilities. The Advanced's curb weight is 4,769 pounds, and the performance weighs in at 4,890 pounds. 2023 GV60 Interior The interior of the Genesis GV60 can be described as somewhat quirky, and Genesis has gone to quite a bit of trouble to make sure that it stands out by offering some unique design details inside that set it apart from rivals and the lowlier Hyundai Group products. The floating satin finish center console houses a novel gear selector that's illuminated and looks like a crystal sphere, flipping over when in park. The dashboard vents are also inset into a satin finish panel and are oval in shape, mirroring the climate control pod on the center stack. The whole lot is topped by a big screen that contains the gauge cluster and extends to the center of the dashboard to include the infotainment touchscreen. The oval theme is repeated in the door handles and glove box release. The details may be odd, but they gel together nicely. Everything is finished to a high standard with solid construction and plush materials, although there are a few scratchy plastics lower down if you go look for them. Another snazzy detail is the round drive mode button below the two-spoke steering wheel's left spoke. The performance's yellow boost button is on the opposite side. Seating and interior space. The seats of the Genesis GV60 are comfortable, and considering its compact size, interior space is surprisingly generous, with a flat floor and long wheelbase ensuring that the most can be made of the available volume. The rear seat offers a decent 37.6 inches of legroom and, despite that sloping roofline, 38.1 inches of headroom is available in the second row, these figures beat both the Q4 Sportback e-tron and C40 Recharge and make the rear more than spacious enough for children and medium-sized adults. In terms of seating comfort and space utilization, it's above average in the compact coupe-style crossover class. However, the sloping rear and tapering glasshouse make it quite difficult to see out the back, and there is a definite over-the-shoulder blind spot, so you'll rely on that backup camera more than usual. At least there are parking sensors front and rear and a surround-view camera system on both trims, so the provided tech ensures that you can see all you need around the GV60. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.